Hey guys, I just kind of wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I recently got today. I went to Ulta to go shopping and I literally haven't been there. It like, well, I have been there, but I haven't like went and done like a massive, like big Ulta shop. Like normally I try to do that for myself like every few months, just like buy a bunch of stuff and try new products and <clears throat> I don't know and pick up like the ones that I run out of obviously when I do buy my products from Ulta I realize that I tend to also run out of my products about the same time like not just one but like three or four products so then when I go again like I have to buy a bunch so this time I just got a bunch of different things um because for i needed them and because i wanted them so yeah um so here's my bag first i'll just pull things out in like a random order what i'll do is i'll tell you guys what their product is and then i can add the price and the name of it on the screen here uh that way if you think that you want to try out that product that you can look it up either on the website or try to find it in the store. Um, I, again, not like I'm not sponsored. Well, I didn't say this earlier, but I'm not sponsored or anything by Alta or any of the products that I will be showing you guys. Um, they're just products that I either thought that I would really like or they're products that I already use. Um, and I'll tell you which ones I already use. So first is this pink loofah um, and this is called eco tools exfoliating eco poof um, to cleanse and exfoliate entire body 100% recycled netting it's cruelty free recycled and tree free paper uh, so that's kind of cool it's also 100% vegan so if you're vegan I guess you could buy this they're actually really nice. Um, I've bought these like three different times because I use them uh, every day when I shower. I wash my body with a loofah. And so I use this loofah and, or this brand of loofah. Um, and I get it from Malta or Fred Meyers. They carry it as well. And I really like it. Uh, this is the third one I've bought, um, and I find that it lasts a little bit longer than, like, the other ones I've bought, whatever brand those were. They were, like, cheaper ones, I think. Um, so this one's really nice, um, and my husband actually uses it, too, and since he uses the loofah, I got him this black charcoal one, or gray and black charcoal one, and... It is a, this is, I don't think it's from the same company. No, it's not from the same company. I'm pretty sure that it's the same one that he's been using. Um, it looks the same, but it's called the Purifying Mesh Exfoliator. Um, and is it charcoal? This one might not be charcoal, actually. With... Yeah, no, it is. It does have charcoal on it. So, yeah. And he really likes it, and it's lasted him a while as well. Um, I got this uh, coconut scrub. So, I, I got this coconut sugar scrub from Tree Nut. And it's... Uh, oh, it's coconut lime. Uh, made with certified shea butter. It's a shea sugar scrub. It's a good product though. I like it. So I actually buy this quite often. I think this is probably like the second or third one I bought of this. I, I really love the smell and I just use this on my whole body and exfoliate. Um, I don't think I normally put this on my face, but it I think it would be all right if you put it on your face if you're just like 
really gently rub, but it might be a little too rough for your face. But I do recommend this for your whole body, and it's really great to do like just in general, but if you like to use self-tanner, uh, this will definitely ex exfoliate that dead skin off of you, and you'll be ready to uh, self-tan yourself. And speaking of self-tanner, um, I've used a couple different self-tanners, and obviously right now you can tell I'm really pale. And that also has to do with the fact that I live in Alaska and I haven't got any sunlight um, because the sun doesn't come up very often and it's really cold here. Basically, it starts snowing in October, so yeah, it's really cold. But so I do like to use self-tanner. I just haven't had the time or energy to like really like consistently put it on my body, but um i would like to hopefully i will um but in the past i've bought this self tanner that i'm about to show you um almost two years ago i really really liked it but the only thing is is that i was trying to save money and i decided to buy a cheaper brand of self tanner because Let's be real, if you want to use self-tanner all the time, it can get kind of pricey, like having to consistently buy self-tanner, especially if you're buying in a pricier range self-tanner that's a higher quality. Um, so I haven't bought it, and I tried some other cheaper ones, but after I tried cheaper self-tanners, buy like $10 or uh, maybe less, I really didn't like them they didn't really last as long um, and they kind of faded weird but this is the rip brand that I got uh, st. Tropez bronzy mousse and this is just the classic self tan and this is an eight fluid ounce bottle I really like it um, and this is a really nice one and so with that I got this Tan appliqueur mitts, just like you put your hand in the mitt and then you just rub it on yourself. It's really great, although they, that sometimes like the edges will like rip and you'll have to replace it. But I mean, if you're rubbing basically your whole body with the mitt, it's probably really good to like you know replace it i just recently started getting scrunchies and i don't know what i i know like as a kid i had scrunchies and i really did like them and then at a certain point i think scrunchies like sorry my back's hurting i think scrunchies went out of style yeah i'm pretty sure they did and I don't really know if they're in style now, but I like them and I've always liked them. So I just bought them and the colors are super cute that I got. But yeah, this, what you see on the camera is actually really close to its colors. Let's see what else we got after I take a sip of my wine. Thirsty. Okay, I think everything else that I bought practically is all new to me. I've never used the products. Never use them. So, with this being said, I don't know if they're good products, but I'm just gonna show you like that, what they are. Okay, so I know that a lot of people have been, not like in my personal life, but like online, kind of talking about, um, you know, like the magnet eyelashes. And I think it's so cool that people um, can afford to like get their eyelashes done. Um, I think they're kind of expensive for me to get them done all the time. It doesn't really fit into my lifestyle. Um, so I, and I just wear mascara every day, which really isn't a big deal to me. Um, but you know, I think I, I, I did get the like put on extensions you know where they put like individual little ones on uh for my wedding um 
in the past I bought like normal eyelash extensions that you would just like you know glue on but I really suck at it so I thought it was cool that they came out with like the magnetic eyelashes now my concerns about this is that it might not be good to have like magnetic little magnets like on your eyelashes I don't know if that's really healthy for your body I'm not really sure um I don't really know about that but I think it's really cool hi Kello hey bunk he wants to see what I got so um I actually also just got my hair cut if you didn't notice um and so i don't know what you call it like a blunt bob short haircut i don't know but i really like it i think it's cute um and it's super messy although it doesn't have as much volume as it did earlier um but yeah so i since i got my hair cut even shorter my concern was when i cut my hair short to begin with that my styling tools that i have weren't going to work for my hair anymore and so that was also my concern today when i got my hair cut shorter as you can see it's very short so i decided that i was going to go ahead and buy another wand that's just a little bit thinner and I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it because I already do have a wand and I like it but the barrel's a little bit bigger so I just don't know if it's gonna curl with my hair and when I was out Ulta I figured I would just pick up a new one yeah anyways so this is what I got yeah so it's a <clears throat> hot tools professional golden rose collection beauty means performance one um it's a one inch digital flipless curling wand and comes with a two-year warranty oh that's cool um it also will shut off after two hours that's really good so if you like leave it on by accident on your counter it'll just turn off but i really hope that you don't ever do that i luckily i don't think i've ever done that I just always turn it off and unplug it as soon as i'm done and then i never have to worry about oh did i turn it off because no i unplugged it so it's got to be off um great for travel hmm. universal dual voltage i guess like because different countries like it can hold higher charges it heats to 450 degrees well that's kind of cool gets hot stays hot that's cool i would hope so but yeah let's see extra long cooling tip <coughs> Uh, to rest your fingers on and then it's got like the safety stand so you don't like burn your counter it also comes with a glove which is really nice hmm. I'm excited to use it I got the Too Faced uh, Dewey You full coverage fresh glow foundation infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber um, in the shade nude so I got that um, I have never tried this and this is shade nude not because uh, that's the color I am right now but I'm thinking that's the color I'm gonna be after I put spray tan on so that's why I got that I got this other little hair clip super cute little clip I got better 
than sex mascara by Too Faced. Um, I'm super excited about this. I'm really gonna probably keep this. Like the container it comes in, so pretty. Oh, so sparkly. It's really cute. It's really nice. The whole thing is really cute. Really like it. Um, I've never used it, but I think I'm really gonna like it. I wanted to get a new bronzer. So I have this one bronzer thing. It's like made by the company It. And it's like a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush kind of thing. But I wanted like another bronzer and one that was maybe like a little higher end. And I also have like just the basic Alta bronzer or whatever. But I wanted something a little bit better. So I got this. Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer. So it's in a little heart shape. This is what it looks like. It's like a little lighter and darker. Three more things. Almost done. I told you I bought so much. You know, when you check out at Alta, there's like this line of little, like, teeny bottles of things to get. And I always look at those. And I know they're just there so that you can, so that they can make more money off of you. It's just like candy being at the register when you go check out. So you just grab it because it's just a couple dollars. Most people will be like, oh, it's only a couple do dollars. I'll just grab it. So yeah they definitely got me i try not to do that normally it's stuff that i don't plan on getting but i was looking at some masks and i thought that this would be cool does it peel off though yeah peel mask okay that's what i wanted i wanted a peel mask because i already have so all right first of all this is a like a charcoal mask and it peels off your face i guess um and i already have charcoal uh mask stuff but i um it doesn't peel off you just like wash it off um but this is the draw it all out skin detoxing peel mask charcoal and plum this peel works like soup like a supercharged magnet to track all the binds and dirts and clogs deep within your pores bamboo charcoal and a wild plum work quickly to detox pores and gently exfoliate them. Go deep and draw it all out. Um, I'm excited for this. I have not used this and this is really cool. Okay, so I normally do my eyebrows in a Anastasia pencil in the shade blonde, but now that my hair, cause my hair was blonde, um, and the even the blonde pencil it kind of looks like a little dark. I don't know It doesn't really look like blonde hair to me. It looks more like a light brown now My hair is quite dark and so I figured I should get a darker like makeup for my eyebrows And so instead of getting the pencil I bought this here So this is the Anastasia dip pomade and it's in the shade soft brown the reason why i kind of switched over to buy this versus the pencil i was buying is that this was a better deal uh the pomade has uh more ounces in it than what the pencil did and the, i think the pencil was maybe worth more and it was just ridiculous so i bought this i thought it was a better deal um and then i really hope that this settles it looks kind of shaken up. It says not to shake it. I really hope it settles or I'll just have to return it. Um, I saw this on Pinterest and somebody really said that it worked, which was kind of exciting to me. I don't know if they were maybe sponsored um, or if it was just like an average gal like me just buying products and trying them out. like. Probably 98% of the world. Um, but I bought this product because I thought that because that girl said that it worked, that maybe it worked for me. And basically, it's a drying lotion to, to dry out your acne. Now, it's not supposed to be this cloudy. So it's like a light pink and the pink stuff's supposed to be settled at the bottom and then there's like clear uh, liquid 
and then it says you're supposed to dip like a cotton swab in there i'm assuming a q-tip and then you put it on your um pimple or your acne spot or whatever to dry out that area this is a fast acting formula that helps dry up surfaces and blemishes overnight earning our drying lotion re-owned in re-owned as in ionic free award-winning must have that's kind of cool so hopefully it really does work um i'm excited because i do get acne breakouts on my chin really often i think because i touch my face a lot um and that was the last of my products i bought a lot of stuff so much I didn't mean to buy all of it but I did I guess that's Ulta problems right does anybody else do that if you do that when you go to Ulta if you please comment below so I can feel better about my shopping haul um, because sometimes I'll just walk in there want to grab a couple things and I walk out with like all of this stuff I don't know how it happens, but it does. I mean, I'm not really complaining because I'm super excited. If I happen to like any of these new products that um, I just showed you today, in about a month or maybe a couple weeks, depending on like how much I use them. If I use them every day, I'll definitely do it within a couple of weeks. But if I, if it's like I'm not using them every day and it's like a month, or so I would like to do what I enjoyed out of my Ulta haul and share what products I thought were actually good with you guys so I did have a lot of different products who knows if I will actually enjoy them all so the good thing is is that Ulta does do the 60 day return um, even if you use it so it gives me the opportunity to like try this stuff out find out if I like it if I don't I'll return it so, yeah if you would like to see that video on um you know if i like these products and if i would recommend them to you comment down below and i will work on setting that up in my calendar so i can make a video for you guys for that and if you had any questions about any of the products uh definitely just comment below if you like this video give it a likes up for your girl and i I hope that you enjoyed this. I had fun going through all of my stuff I bought. So my battery's literally about to die. It might shut off. Oh my God. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Comment below if you have any questions. Um, have a great night.